The histogram above shows the distribution of the heights and meters of 26 pyramids in Egypt. Which of the following could be the median height of the 26 pyramids represented in the histogram? Be careful on this type of question. It actually works out in this case that if you just superficially look at the graph, you might think that our median should be somewhere in here, and you'd be correct. Uh, but that's just kind of luck that the highest bar ends up having the median in it. Let's actually figure out why the median is going to land within this bar. So here's one thing. You could, if you wanted to, I don't recommend this, but you could like, create values for each of these bars, like call this like something between, I don't know, call it like 22 or something. Call this value something like, I don't know, 36, whatever, right? Create values for each of these bars, then write out two 22s, three 36s, uh, 12 of, let's call it, I don't know, 53, right? Write out all your terms, then count from the left to find the median of those 26 values, right? Because you're going to have 26 values overall. You could do that. It's just a lot of work. And here's a general sneaky little trick you can use for median questions. They tell you that there's 26 values, there's 26 heights of these pyramids. Think for a second, where in that list of 26 is the median going to be? Well, note that it's an even number, so it's going to be between two numbers in our list here. And what are the two middle numbers of 26? Well, if you think about it, you're going to have 1 to 12 on this side. You're going to have 15 to 26 on this side. So 13 and 14 are going to be your two middle numbers in this case, because you've got 12 numbers here, 12 numbers here, and these are your two middle numbers. So here's the thing. Your median is going to be between the 13th and the 14th value. So really all we need to figure out is where in the distribution are the 13th and 14th values. So we have two numbers right here. Here are the first two. Here are the next three. So the first five numbers are in this set. Then we add 12. So notice we're going from 5 all the way to another 12. So the first 17 numbers are accounted for in this set of numbers. And notice our 13th and 14th are going to be somewhere in this bar. So that means our median is going to lie somewhere within the range of 45 to 60, which is why the answer ends up being B. We don't know the exact median, right? They want to know what the median could be. Right? We don't need to know the exact number, but we know it's going to be somewhere in this bar based on the fact that that median has got to be in the 13th or the 14th number, or in between the 13th and the 14th number, which is somewhere in this bar, so somewhere between 45 and 60. Choice B. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.